Hi, it's Steve with DSS Photography, and I'm doing another uh, requested video tutorial. Yeah, this one is going to be how to make colors more vivid or pop. Um, and this is the image I'm going to use as an example because there's lots of greens and colors on her dress. There are a couple of different ways to do it. Um, one of them, you can just go to, you can do Vibrance if you have Photoshop. Um, Elements does not have a vibrant option, so for elements you do use saturation and just go up on your saturation a bit. Unfortunately, the best thing about between vibrance and saturation, or in saturation, is vibrance does not affect skin as much. Saturation, as you can tell, her skin looks more glowy orange. Luckily, she had warmed up, so it's not too bad actually. But click on your little mask. Get a black brush, set it at you know 40, 20, depending on how much there is, and then just brush over the skin so it's not as orangey or glowy. With the make sure it's black, set to black. Oops, went out there a little bit. It's trying to catch up with me. All right, so now you can tell the dress and the background. The colors are a lot more vivid, and that's a really quick way to do it. And another way to make it more is you can do a brightness contrast layer, set it to soft light, and this makes it really pop. Set it to 55%, or just adjust. Really, it's up to you and how. What's your preference on how you want the image to look? I like this one at 55. So from there, yeah, it's all right. It was straight out camera, and that just two simple, quick steps to make the colors much more vivid and pop a lot more. What's great is they all have masks. So if the skin is too strong, or if you just want to affect a part of the image, you can easily um, mask right off of the areas you don't want it to affect with the black. And um, let's actually do it where. Uh, a different way to do it is through levels, and this is better when you want to adjust a certain color. And I'm showing these ways because they are both applicable in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. Obviously in Photoshop there are even more ways to do it, but unfortunately Elements is more limited, so these are steps you can also do in Elements. So, levels has um, RGB... I um, have to do another video on what all this does, but basically, depending on what colors, I'm going to mess with the greens. So, I'm going to go to the green channel, and um, you can pull the green shadows up just a bit, and it affects the whole image, but we'll go in. This to the right goes more of a magenta, to the left, I am brightening my midtones to be greener. This is my shadow I'm adding green into. Um, and then we'll just do green on this one and it's too bright, the background's still too bright for me so I go to RGB and I'm going to pull this is my shadows, pull it down even farther I'm not worrying about her skin because I'm actually going to um, mask it right off there and only be on the back on the background so this is this layer, as you can tell it's very strong. <laughs> so click on the layer mask, control I, it inverts it, um, hit X to switch your brush from black to white, or if you have those two checked, or if you have, to have those two right here, <laughs> it just actually switches your foreground, your background, the letter X, as you can see. If you hit D, it actually will do default white to black. So, I want white anyway. I'll just let my computer catch up. It's very slow right now. It's slow all the time, actually. That's all I'm saying. I need to get another one. <laughs> there, just a lot more brighter and greener in the background. Okay, and the final way I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to. Uh, mess with the dress, I'm doing other levels, 
and I'm going to go into each channel. We're going to go to red. We're going to pull this left side up to 20. Pull this down about 15. So 20 and then 240 over there. I'm going to go to each channel and do the same thing. So as you can see, it's much more contrasty and more, way more color on that, especially with that dress. So I can go and get the black brush again and mask it off her skin if it's getting too strong, which I think it's a little bit too much, especially on the arms. Which I need to fix that color cast, but this is not a color cast video. It's about it's about color. <laughs> Alright. So that was that level's adjustment. Here it was before. And here. Whoops. It was after. <laughs> before and after. And that's with actually all four on. So you can use any one of these techniques. That with just a little bit, and then maybe mix and match, put the hue saturation up, and then do your that levels adjustment, or you can just do brightness contrast, and then go and manipulate each level. But honestly, they all look pretty. The best thing to do the color really is hue saturation and elements, vibrance if, in Photoshop if you have uh, Photoshop. You just go to a new one, hit vibrance, and you can actually control your saturation or saturation and vibrance. See right, like at 30 on that one, and at 30 on that one, how bit orange the skins are. It does not affect skin as much, so you can go up a little bit higher. Let's see, it's a little bit. And then you can easily adjust your opacities if they're too strong. And like I said, use those layer masks and mask off that skin if, it, they, um, if you want a lot of color. But the skin, unfortunately, will start turning orangey or because our skins actually have red and yellows and oranges in them. So when you start messing with your saturations, it's going to bump those up too in our skin and make us really glow. <laughs> So that is really quick a couple steps that you can use to add a little more color, a little more make them more vivid and make them pop a little bit more.